Hi everybody! Welcome back to today's video. Hi, how are you? My name is Angie and you don't forget you can subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at AngieBear. And now that that is out of the way, today I am going to try something very new because I just bought it from Sephora. And that is this. Ta-da! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to see the English version. This. So I got my hands on the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. So this, I think was just launched, newly launched or something like that. I don't know. I don't need that many setting powders. But as usual, I bought more setting powder because I really wanted to try this. So today, you can see I'm bare-faced and I'm going to put super light makeup on. I'm going to go about my day and come back and check in with you guys to see how much I love this product. So it's just a first impression. And... I can already tell I might, maybe, maybe, just like this product. And if you want to see me try it for the first time, then keep on watching! Okay, so off camera, I just slapped on foundation, foundation and uh, my blush. So what I'm going to do is, if you are interested to find out what products I use, I will leave it in the description box below. But now... We are going to go into the star of the show. So this one looks something like this. Ooh, rare beauty. And then it's like a kyap kyap thing. So you can open it and then you close it like that. So let's try it first. Uh, is this going to take me a while? Uh, okay, no, it's not going to take me a while. So, first and foremost, it's a smell test. I don't know why I need to smell powder, but let's just put some here. And see if I can show you guys how it looks like. Is it enough? Okay, so it's actually very, very fine. You can see it. So, I think... But it's a bit difficult to pour it up because I think the holes in the thing is very small. But let's just try it first now. So just my normal setting, my face brush. And as you can see, I'm already sweating because it's really, really hot. So let's just try to set my face. Is there any difference? Is there? Wait, I need to look at the mirror. It is very, very fine. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see because of how my natural light is in my room. But from a close-up point of view, So this one obviously is a bit shinier and this one is already matte because I've already set my face. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to use my phone to see if I, there's a difference. And if there is, I will put it like, like here to show you guys that there's a difference in my set face and my non-set face. So you wait a while. Okay, so now let's just try to set the whole face. And I'm going to also try to finish up my whole face of makeup and then go about my day and then come back and show you guys how I feel towards the end but I think so far as a first impression it's very nice huh? but I have been using the one size Bonilla setting powder and I've actually realized that it really sets like my makeup in place um, and I'm starting to really, really love that product. And we will see whether this one works the same as one size or it will work better. Because one size, sometimes when I put it out on my cap, it's a bit chunky. But this one is very, very fine. So, so continue to just set my face. 
and I'm gonna go off camera and then come back again. Okay, so let's just go about my day. Uh, very, very simple. I've only drew my eyebrows, put a lip on and some highlight. And yeah, let's just go out, go about my day. And then I will come back and do a little like a uh, check-in to see how how has my makeup fared throughout the day. So I'm ready to go out. And I'll check back with you guys later. <laughs> Hello guys! Okay. I so I just came back from being out. <clears throat> came back from lunch, had a little bit of shopping and walking around, wearing my mask and so far, uh, obviously my lipstick is gone, but everything else feels pretty good actually. Uh, you can see that my face is already oily. I'm coming closer. It's oily, oily. I actually added on mascara and didn't really bother too much about it. But it still looks good. Good actually. Uh, in the close up, mm -hmm. just looks somewhat oily, but on camera it actually looks pretty fine. So, wow. I actually really like this uh, and the way it wore. Wore? The way it wears? The way it wore. The way it wore. Wear. The way it wears. I think that's the word. Um, it's very, very fine. I think. My next trial of this will probably be like half of this with this and the other half with the uh, One Size Beauty. Actually, this one feels really really good. Uh, it was very easy to absorb on my skin. It set my face pretty well. I am going to just look through like on 4K from my phone and it actually still looks pretty okay. So uh, I'll try to put it here but maybe I won't because this one already looks really Really, really nice. Um, I really like this. It's actually not too expensive. It's the basic price, la, the basic uh, setting powder price in Malaysia. This one was about 118 or 138 ringgit. Uh, quite similar to One Size and the Huda, even the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that I bought. So, yeah, and it is about 10 grams, so 0.35 ounces. Which is okay. Um, it matched. It matched my skin pretty well, and that's it. I feel really pretty. The whole day, also, I felt really pretty. I felt like uh, my makeup was also like staying and really nice, even though I put on my mask and I was walking around. But to be fair, the weather today was also really good, and I was in like a lot of aircon places. So while my face got pretty oily, it was pretty okay also and um, yeah that's it if you wanna buy it yourself it's already available in sephora stores you can go and look for it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye